Alex Mazza. Hey, I'm Bailey White, and we're here with Mountaineer Media. Athletic competitions continue today between the Boys State Cottages. Here are some highlights of this afternoon's sporting activities. We're looking forward to seeing the rest of this week's athletic results. Next up on Mountaineer Media is Graylin Brown with the Nationalist and Federalist Chairman. After today's uh, first Federalist uh, caucus, previously elected Daniel Devine um, has a few words to say and he would like to share for all the Federalists out there. I want to create a unified Federalist government that we can run together to win the state elective uh, positions. Every state position should be controlled by a Federalist member. We need to unify together as a whole party, not to vote for the nationalists, but to vote for one another. Whoever wins tonight in the primaries should be our main focus. We should put all of our members behind them and put them into the seats. You heard that Mountaineer Media. Thank you. Here we are at the previously ended second caucus of the nationalists with uh, previously elected chairman Keaton Cooper. Keaton, um, what do you expect from the Nationalists and what have you, what's your plan that uh, you guys are going to do? Our goal for the Nationalist Committee and party is to elect a red governor, a red house, a red senate. We want to unify this party, we want to bring it together. We've had a lot of great debate, we've had a lot of great planks that we've brought onto our platform. Um, I'm really impressed with the group of people I'm working with. I'm very excited to see, to see um, the election results go in. I'm really hoping that we'll have a lot of Nationalists. Okay, thank you, thank you. You heard it here at Ma uh, uh, Mountaineer Media. Thanks to the chairman for doing the interviews. Now here's Raylan again with guest speaker Thomas Evan, PhD. All right, so tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are. Restating. I'm Thomas Evans. I'm from Monongah, West Virginia. I'm the director of the West Virginia Revival Technology Center and also a professor at WVU in the Air Space Engineering Department. Um, do you think that robotics could one day enhance uh, Boise State, and if so, how? Well, I think robotics is going to enhance the entire state of West Virginia. I definitely think it can enhance Boise State by developing programs here for science, technology, and engineering camps or curriculum that occur at Boise State. Thank you, Graylin. Finally, Joseph Lucy was able to interview the Federalist and Nationalist Governor candidates. Here's the exclusives of Niall Deal and Daniel Bennett. Did you expect this amount of success out of the election? Um, I don't know. I just walked around, met people, talked to people, made some friends. They made friends for me, so uh, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out, but I'm uh, pleased. I'm pleased with that. Thank you. Um, how are you going to further your campaign after today? Um, well, first I would like to assure all nationalists that I will not prosecute them like all the other feds. Um, uh, I do see us as equal Americans, and I want both of us to prosper, and I want us to remember that we're together to make this country better, not just our party better. Um, and then, do you plan on winning the general election? Um, I plan on it. You know, If I don't, I'm out of a job, so I just guess I'm going to sit on a street in a box and shake a cup <laughs> asking for money. You know. or okay. I, I told someone I would do that if I became governor anyway. I'd do it for a day. And then, what is your first action as governor going to be, if elected? Um, if possible, definitely to shorten the assemblies. There's a long. And hopefully to get rid of these driving rules. That, okay. Yeah. So, Daniel, did you expect this amount of success out of the election? To be honest, I really didn't expect <laughs> to even get nominated. <laughs> I mean, it was really a big surprise to me. Seems like it. Yeah. Um, how are you going to further your campaign after today? Uh, uh, I'm probably going to, I'm going to do my best to uh, get rid of the law where you have to pay to walk on the road. Because, I mean, nobody wants to pay to walk on the road. That, that doesn't make any sense. And another thing is buying a driver's license to run. Because some people like to exercise, and you shouldn't be penalized for exercising. That's, that's kind of silly. Um, and then, do you plan on winning the general election? Uh, I mean, what, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I plan on trying to win, at least. Yeah. Um, and then, 
Okay, I asked you this question kind of already, but what will be your very first action as governor? Uh, to appoint Alexander into uh, some sort of appointed job, because I promised him that. Uh, I'm going to try and keep my promise. So. Can't go back on that. I wouldn't be an honest man if I did. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, I'm Daniel Bennett, and I'm running for governor under the uh, nationalist ballot. Although I'm not just running for nationalists, I'm running for the people of Boy State. You've got to remember that. This is Schuyler, and he's helped pay for this. I'll turn it to him. I wanted to support this man because I think he's the only candidate who truly cares about what you have to say. He's going to represent you, and I want to help him do it. All right. See, this guy knows what he's doing, just like me, except I'm not Batman, so don't worry about that. So, hey, I will win this election with your vote, okay? Thank you, Joseph. This has been Alex Mazza and Bailey White with Mountaineer Media, signing off.